Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to download a font off the internet and then import it into Film Design so that way you can use it for yourself for free. Now, before I start this video, bear in mind that not all fonts are going to be available on these two sites that I'm going to show you. And if that's the case, you may have to go ahead and purchase it for yourself. Now, with that being said, here's how you do it. So, first things first, if you can't find it in the, in the list of fonts and Film Designs, what you do is you go ahead and open up your web browser. Now, you can either go to dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com, or 1001fonts.com, and that will work as well. Both of these are, are free, uh, free and, and clean sites that are safe to use. They won't give you anything, anything bad. Um, these are the two trusted sites that we use around here at Film Designs. So they both work the same way, basically. Over here at Dafont, you just go over here to download whatever you want. Say you want to download Mother's Day, for example. Click on download. Wait for it to come up. Down here at the bottom of the, of the screen here, you'll see uh, options to go ahead and open and save it. Go ahead and click save as. It's going to pop up a dialog box here on the side. It's going to ask you where you want to save it Save it to. Just go say to your desktop. It's already free to, free to find of your desktop, so that's fine. Um, over here at the save as type, you want to do compress zip folder. That's good. So hit save. Let that load. Wait for, from there, just we'll wait for that to come up. Minimize the, the web browser and the film designs and the software. Go ahead and pull open the the file folder here, the compress it file. Right click on it. Click extract all. This is going to pull up a little folder thing for you here. It's going to ask you what you want to do with it. Go ahead and select the destination for the files. That's fine. Click extract. It's going to then pop up another, another file explorer page for you to open up and work with here. From here, what you want to go ahead and do is once this is up, go ahead and click on the go to the make sure you go to the true type font file right here underneath the type. That's the one you want. Double click it, open it up. It's going to bring you up, open up big, a big, big dialog box for you to work with here. Go ahead and pull this open. Once it's opened up, go ahead and hit install. Wait for it. Do its thing. Once it disappears like that, you should be good to go. Click out of it, click out of that, and once you do, and once that's done, you can go ahead and pull back up in Film Designs. Once this is done now, bear in mind once you load a new a new font into the software, you want to go ahead and close it out and reopen it, otherwise it's not going to load for you, so go ahead and hit no on new, save, save changes to new design. Go ahead and reopen the software, let it load up again for you. Once it loads up, go click on the text tool over here on the side, blue T, click out in here. Again, this is called Mother's Day or Mother Day. So go ahead and click on the little thing right here where you find all your available typefaces. Click the little drop down. Look through here until you find it. Go down to the M's. Keep scrolling until you find it. M-O, keep going. And there's Mother Day right there. Click on it, and now you can go ahead and type in the software, and it should pull it right up for you. And there it is. There's your font. That's the first one, and then the same thing goes for the other one as well. Let's say if you want to go to 1001fonts.com, works the same way. Say you want to have pages uh, grotesque thin, for example. Go ahead and click out of this one down here first so we don't get confused. Go ahead and click on download pages grotesque thin. Gonna pull open this little option over here on the side. Go ahead and hit Save As. Again, you want to do the compressed zip folder. Click Save. From here, you can go ahead and minimize this. Minimize the software. And then go over here to Pages Grotesque, the compressed zip file on your desktop. Once again, right click on it. Click Extract All. It's gonna pop open a little dialog box on the side here. Click Extract. Wait for it to come up. Again, go ahead and just find the open true type font here. Find it. In this case, there's a lot of them, more than usual. So you'll want to have to just go through all these guys here and then do them all the open open type of font file. Just do it. Do the demo, for example. Double click that one, open it up. Again, the same thing. It'll open up like this. 
and then just hit just like I did before hit install load it up let it do its thing once that's finished and it goes away you can then click out of it click out of that one again if you want to unless you want to do the same thing with these guys just go ahead and do them all or right click and hit install that works too right click install right click install and so on and so on once that's done you can go ahead and open the software back up again pull it back open bear in mind once it's been, once it's been pulled up like this before go ahead and want to exit out of it <coughs> Don't save and change changes in design one. Pop the software back open again. Let it load. Again, you want to go to the text tool, little T on the side. Click in the, anywhere in, into the middle of the text there. Wait for it to load up in the software. Click on the little drop down thing again here for you. And then go down to all the way to Pages Grotesque. All the way down at the bottom. Search for an alphabetical order. And there's your there's your images right there, your options for you. you got pages grotesque demo, pages grotesque black demo, etc. Once that's done, you can go and click on whatever one you want. Type it out, and there's your font. And that's basically it. And that's how you download a font off of online on the internet and open it up and download it and install it to film designs.